I was feeling like I could use a little bit of exercise, so today I'm just gonna uh, go through some quick things you can do on your own. If you're just going for the one rep max with shitty form, you, you're much more likely to get injured, get setbacks. Uh, you'll be it'll be a disincentive for you to continue exercising in this way. So have fun with it, challenge yourself. Uh, I really like it. It's something that's like. Uh, you have nobody else to blame but yourself. If you take a couple weeks off and you start going downhill, no one else to blame but yourself. But uh, uh, the flip side of that is if you put the time in, you're disciplined, you eat well, get enough rest, and you start seeing results, then you know it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty motivating to keep it up. Plus, it gives you a lot of energy throughout the day, tackle all your other work, relieve stress. I love listening to music when I do it, so it gives me a time to kind of rock out. I need my uh, metal fix every day. So today I'm going to show you a few exercises. Again, we're just going to do some like upper body stuff. So one thing I like to do, especially when you're pressed for time or you're doing exercises that you're not lifting your, your one rep max where you can uh, catch your breath more easily between sets, I'll do uh, supersetting, which is uh, doing one exercise, doing a set from exercise A, a set from exercise B, a set from exercise C and D and on and on. And then you just go through that uh, three or four times. I only have 45, so I can't do that much out here, but you gotta find uh, find something that you can use and anything's better than nothing. So we'll do a back exercise, one arm dumbbell rows, and then we'll do um, uh, some push-ups. I'm gonna show you uh, dumbbell rows first. Uh, with this exercise, it's gonna hit your lats, which is the, uh, after your legs, the second biggest muscle group in your body. Uh, if you hit them a lot, do some pull-ups and stuff like that, you can get a nice V shape. Um, important things to think about are uh, keeping your back flat throughout this. You don't wanna lean. Uh, it puts more pressure on your spine. Uh, you want to, you don't want to be jerky. You want to be under control and smooth, so you're really hitting that muscle fiber. And um, you want to let it stretch all the way at the bottom. You don't want to like uh, short yourself on the range of motion. Just grab one of the weights, and you want to do like just a smooth up and down, and just like really squeeze it at the top. So again, flat back. You can look up even straight ahead. Just like pull it up. like that and then I'm gonna do the other side same thing again so I'll, when I'm lifting with my right arm I have my left knee and left hand down this could be a bench this could be a chair you could use anything here all right so we just hit our back let's move on let's hit our chest this is again a super setting you do uh, different muscle groups one after the other and then just kind of rotate back through them uh, so if you're just starting out you can do these uh, like you can have your hands higher than your feet, essentially, so there's less weight that you're pushing. Uh, if you're comfortable, you can do them on flat ground, just laying down, flat ground. Uh, but uh, eventually, you can work up and start doing some like decline ones, so like more of your weight is on your pecs and your triceps, which is what this is hitting. It's also hitting your anterior deltoid, which is there's three muscles in your shoulder. So some people prefer to put their hands flat on the ground. I usually put my knuckles right on the ground because I think it puts less strain on my wrists instead of like that it's straight but even better than that is using like like dumbbells or I know they sell some uh, push-up things like this but it keeps your grip neutral it feels pretty natural so you can just get in there again keep a flat back look straight ahead and you don't want to be like real jerky you just want to be uh, under control All right, so as we're doing these supersets, another good uh, pair of muscles to, to uh, group is uh, the biceps and triceps. Um, obviously, the biceps help you like curl your arm in, the triceps help you push it out. Uh, what I do is I stand with my feet staggered, so one in front of the other. That'll help me like have a solid base. I won't be, uh, I won't cheat as often, I guess I'll say. But uh, and the other exercise for your triceps, I'm just going to do some overhead uh, dumbbell presses like this. So the important thing uh, you'll notice when I do those is try to keep your upper arm uh, relatively straight and then uh, just move just move uh, the bottom part of your arm. Uh, that'll really help stretch your tricep and uh, strengthen it. So again, I'll have like feet staggered and uh, I'm just going to curl them both at the same time. You can alternate them if you want. Some people stand with their back against a pole or the corner of a wall so they don't cheat
and with these you kind of want to pause at the bottom so you're not using momentum pause at the top squeeze it and again you want to keep keep your upper arm straight another thing to remember is to keep your elbows you don't want your elbows to flare out puts a lot of stress on them you want to keep them in and just lift like straight up the more serious you get about lifting uh, the more likely you are to spread out your routine essentially instead of doing like a two-day split like upper and lower body for example you or even a three-day split uh, pushing muscles pulling muscles in the lower body uh, you may even do like a four or five day split, really break it down, kill each muscle group. Uh, for example, your bicep has its by two, has two heads, has, so you can uh, do exercises as a target. Each head, uh, specifically your tricep has three heads, so you can do different exercises as a target. Each head, you know, obviously it's about uh, size, but also symmetry, so you don't want like to have a huge upper body with a weak lower body you want to have everything balanced out uh, so for myself I think genetically my weak points always been my triceps so I have to work extra hard to try to kill them to make sure they're somewhat even with my biceps so just something to keep in mind genetics does play a part in this All right, a couple other muscle groups you can pair like I like doing shrugs uh, shrugs work your traps which are the muscle group right there like behind your neck and uh, they're a real strong muscle so you lift quite a bit of weight these uh, 45 pound dumbbells aren't cutting for me, but they're better than nothing. You see, you'll see some people like roll their shoulders and stuff. You don't want to do that. It places a lot of more strain on, the, on what's essentially your shoulder joint inside and it can damage your rotator cuff. So you just want to go straight up, essentially try to pull your elbows to your ears, just straight up. And you know, you're going to make weird faces when you do these because you know, you're lifting some weight and that's just how it goes. But we'll do some of those, then we'll just transition right into dumbbells. And again, I'll just come down so my, my upper arm is a, uh, kind of perpendicular or parallel to the ground. And uh, you just want to bring it straight up in a controlled motion. You don't want to cheat, you don't want to bounce. And again, there's like three heads on your deltoid. So the uh, uh, anterior, medial, and posterior. The posterior, uh, you can hit with some back exercises, especially, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the anterior and medial get, get hit when you do like presses uh, in front of you and overhead. So we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna do some overhead presses. Uh, important thing to know about that is, uh, and one thing that I messed up on when I started lifting was like, I was like a stickler, like, oh, I gotta have my range of motion, you know, get the full range of motion, but I overdid it. So I, I came down like, for example, like too far, put strain, like I used to do a uh, barbell behind my head, which placed a lot of strain on my shoulder joint. I ended up having to have surgery for that. So again, for shrugs, uh, you just wanna bring it straight up. You wanna pause for a second at the top, really let it stretch on the bottom. You don't wanna cheat. You really just, you know, trying to hit that muscle fiber. So it's not necessarily about doing the most weight. It's about lifting smart. Just nice and controlled. 